there are multiple ways to learn new things about cells. Some researchers learned about cells through description, like when Anton van Leeuwenhoek wrote about and drew microscopic organisms, or when Charles Otis Whitman drew thousands of pictures to capture cell division. Other researchers learned about cells through systematic organization, like when cytologists classified cell types by patterns in structure and function. Up until the 20th century, researchers mostly learned about cells through description and classification. Some researchers eventually asked questions about cells that they did not feel could be answered through description or classification. These researchers learned about cells through experimentation, by manipulation. Manipulation could invoke putting cells in extreme environments, such as super hot or super salty water, and seeing what happens to the cell. Manipulation could also involve disturbing parts of cells and watching how they react. Scientists use manipulation to come up with different answers to questions about what cells are doing and why. What scientists learn through manipulation is not inherently better or more accurate than what they learn through description or classification. Rather, what they can learn is different.